tau if I'd square it out, and then what that answer I'll put in sines and cosines? So if I do that, I have tangent squared of x plus tangent of x times secant of x. It's dying. Let's see how this one's doing. Plus secant squared of x. Now I can put it in sines and cosines. Tangent is what in terms of sines and cosines? So this would be sine squared of x over cosine squared of x plus what you just told me tangent was sine of x over cosine of x. What's secant of x? <coughs> 1 over cosine of x. Okay, so I have 1 over cosine of x. And then secant of x you just told me was 1 over cosine of x, so secant squared will be 1 over cosine squared of x. <coughs> Isn't it two? Isn't it two? Yeah. Oh, did I forget my two? I did. Thank you. Here's my two. All right. Now what? Well, I can put them all together because this has cosine squared as a denominator. When I multiply these together, I'll have cosine squared in my denominator. And here I have cosine squared in my denominator. So far, so good. So I will have sine squared of x plus 2 sine of x plus x plus 1 all over cosine squared of x. <coughs> Suggestions. Keeping in mind that I'm aiming toward having only signs in the numerator and signs in the denominator, where remember a and b are going to be numbers, what should I do now? You want to factor the numerator? Yeah. Okay. Well, factor the numerator. When I factor the numerator, what do I get? And B are both one. And that's what you put in for A and B. 